This is a decision tree. It's the kind of output you can produce in machine learning. So I fed it some data, a collection of results from the Premier League this year, and then I asked it to come up with a model, a best fit, to that data. And this is what it produced. Note, I haven't validated it. So this could be meaningless. I have to tweak it around a bit. I have to test it in various different ways. Now, I did use other models, and there I used some of the data, and then I checked to see whether it was able to predict the remaining data that I had. And there, it didn't do too badly. I mean, it was right between 60 and 70% of the time, though that was a small data set, so you know it could have been a lucky um, guess. Also, this data is using the halftime result. So, you know, if you know what happens halfway through the game, that's less risky. You know, you, you have more knowledge, and so. I would expect to be able to predict better. But anyway, this is just to give an impression of what machine learning can do. So I'm going to look at Man United versus Liverpool. So for the data, I need to know how often does Man, does Man United and Liverpool tend to win or lose? And I do that based on good old soccer stats. So I just look at the home and away tables and that is my input. So then see what the table says. So, half time result, that's what HDR means, is the away team in the lead. So, if Liverpool are in the lead, so yes, I go along this branch. So now it's actually expecting, typically that means that the away team will win. This is saying that if the away team is in the lead at half time, then 63% of the time the away team will win. Next question. HL greater than 0.21, greater than or equal to. So that means that the home team loses more than 20% of the time. So I look at Man United, and they've only lost once in 10. So they do not lose more than 21% of the time. So then that would mean I, I go right. So since Man United don't lose more than 21% of the time, I expect that the result is going to be a draw. So this this is if the halftime result was Liverpool in the lead. So at halftime, the this model is suggesting that the most likely outcome is a draw. 
But of course, why would Liverpool be in the lead? If Liverpool were not in the lead, then we go to the right. Now it's saying, so if Liverpool have not taken the lead at half time, which is the more likely outcome, 75% of the time that should happen, then 62% of the time Man United should win. So at the start, the home team has a 50% chance of winning. If Liverpool have not taken the lead, then Man United have a 62%. So in fact, their odds have increased. Next question. Does the away team lose less than half the time? I assume they do, but I'll look it up. So Liverpool away have only lost twice. So it's less than 20%. While this is asking, is it less than 50? So if it's less than 50, I go left. Now the most likely outcome is a draw. Next question. What was the halftime result? So we went to the right if Liverpool did not take the lead. But if it was a draw at halftime, then I go left. So the most likely outcome is that it's going to end up a draw. Final question. Does the home team lose more than 14% of the time? Back to the data. Man United have lost only once. So they lose 10% of the time. So do they lose more than 14%? No. So I go to the right. And that's saying Man United should win. Now, that's saying that Man United are most likely to win. That's saying that Man United have a 50% chance of winning. Because it has the, th the probabilities here. So, if at half time the result is a draw, this is saying that Man United have a 50% chance of winning, which is the same as they had at the start. Liverpool's chance of winning has fallen from 26 to 20. The probability of a draw has gone up from 25 to 30. If, on the other hand, the halftime result was not a draw, as in, the halftime result was Man United were in the lead. Then, the probability that Man United will win is 63%. The probability that Liverpool will win is 16. The probability of a draw is 21. So that's the kind of output you can get using machine learning. Now, at the same time, I mean, you can set it up in multiple different ways. So here, I just happen to have also told it to consider what the halftime result was. I could have fit it without that. I could have put in different kinds of data. I could use different models. So each one will produce different results. Ideally, I want to, and this is a very early result, 
so this is my first set of outputs really but i want to mess around get a sense of okay how how can i improve this but it's a it's a nice um graphical result which where you can clearly see what is going on and you can see that these are the important pieces of information I could also look using exactly the same decision tree at Swansea versus Arsenal which is the one I'm more interested in being an Arsenal supporter so I'll just go through the same process for that match step one Is halftime result is the away team in the lead? Say it was yes. So say Arsenal are in the lead. Next question Does the home team lose more than 21% of the time? Swansea have lost 6 out of 10, so they lose 60%. Of the home games so therefore I go left and that tells me that if Arsenal are in the lead at half time I have a I expect Arsenal to win the game with a 78% probability again we don't know how accurate these models are so just want to sure um, stress that <laughs> but this you know this has the, the the important information when for man united they don't lose a home that often so that's why we go we went on to the right and we ended up with the most likely result being a draw if man if liverpool took the lead so say arsenal didn't take the lead or don't take the lead at half time then we go to the right next question does the away team lose less than 52 percent of the time well arsenal away away arsenal lose 20 percent so we go left arsenal don't tend to lose away if there were another team who did tend to tend to who did do tend to lose away, like say Burnley, then we would we would have gone down the right and we would then expect Swansea to win. But since it's Arsenal, we go to the left. Next, half time result. Were Arsenal in the lead? Oh, sorry, this is halftime result draw. So if it was not a draw, then it's expecting Swansea to win. Oh. While if it's a draw at halftime, then we go down this route. And since Swansea do lose more than... 14% of the time oh sorry I'm getting distracted shows I, like as I said this is quite new to me since Swansea do lose more than 14% of the time then we go left like yes means left the most likely outcome is a draw so Arsenal really want to be in the lead at half time because then we end up over here if it's a draw or swan there in the lead then none of the endpoints have the away team winning so that's just a intro 
into machine learning and how it can be applied to football betting. I'm looking forward to lots of interesting developments on that on that front.